Welcome back to Bay Sunday now. The San Francisco Conservation Corps, have you heard of it? It's a nonprofit organization serving at-risk young adults. It has certainly got a rich history. It was started in 1983 as the first urban conservation corps in the U.S. And to date, it has served almost 5,000 young people and helped them develop academic abilities and marketable job skills while addressing community needs through service work. And here to tell us more about the San Francisco Conservation Corps is the executive director, Ann Cochran, and board member Bob Molino and welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you. you very much. And I want to start with you. I mean, this Conservation Corps idea certainly has a very rich history. Uh, it got its inspiration from President Franklin Roosevelt's Civilian Conservation Corps when they created work when people needed it during the Depression. Of course, many of us are familiar with the California Conservation Correct. Corps, but yours brings it down to a much more local level, doesn't That's it? That's right. That's right. They really are our grandparents. We are local and urban and um, intended to serve everything that is local around San Francisco. The young people are local, the projects are local. It's really about making San Francisco a better place on many, many fronts. Really give inner city kids some sort of direction. And, and Bob, that's sort of the reason you got involved, huh? I mean, you have a day job that keeps you busy all the time, but you really are dedicating a lot of time to this organization. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, I think often people want to help out. And in my case, I wanted to do something. And coming from New York City and, and b living in the inner city and seeing the type of challenges that a lot of young adults face, I felt like, wow, how can I help out some of the folks here? And I think the interesting thing about this is that it kind of gives you three ways to help out in one shot. Basically, you can help young adults become functioning, contributing members of society, which is great. But we're training them in job skills that can put them out in the workplace that uh, basically encompass recycling, um, in, uh, encompasses basically uh, cleanups, beautifications of parks and schools. And then lastly, because of the sort of the uh, eco piece of it, it really means that you can get back to Mother Earth as well. So I, I found that really amazing. Well, look at this. This is a picture of, uh, of one of the core members, what, with solar panels? That's, That's one of exactly the jobs? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. That's a core member graduate, and she is working at Occidental Power Solar Company, and uh, she got a job as a uh, assistant installer. So that's Paula Hatch. And um, so our goal is really to help young people leave and have a job that makes a living wage and contribute to the community. And yeah, and they also have academics as part of this program. Look, there's a graduating class. That's exactly right. We provide a high school diploma program. It's not a GED. It's an accredited high school program that is part of a statewide charter school, and our graduation rates have uh, increased threefold wow. in the last couple of years. Okay, so if, if young adults are watching this program, how does a young person become a core member? What does it take uh, to make a good core member? Well, well, it takes their own initiative, really. Um, what they need to do is contact us either on our website, which I'm sure you'll provide for folks, and we also have a recruiter, and we also have word of mouth. Many of our young people come to us through their friends and family members. They have to come do an interview. They have to fill out an application. They have to go through an orientation process, and each of those steps they have to demonstrate I'm motivated, I'm interested in the community, I'm interested in changing my life, I want to get an education, and I want to do something better for the environment. It's a little bit of uh, art and science. But still, I mean, the, the kids who come in are certainly motivated. Bob, you've probably met a lot of them. What, I think, impresses you the most? Well, you know, th these young adults, they, they face some serious challenges in their personal lives. I mean, everything from family members getting hurt to just not having the, the time because they're raising young children to, mm -hmm. to get an education. So what strikes me most about them is that, you know, the, the one word that keeps coming up is these are courageous adults because they have chosen to change their lives. And it's not easy. As Ann says, there is a barrage of things you have to do. They get up in the morning, some cases, 5 o'clock in the morning to come in to take that's, to do the school. You don't make it easy. What, do they have to be in 7, 7.30 or that's, something? Correct. That's correct. That's correct. I mean, so this is a job. Yeah, this is a, this is a job for them. So this is not easy. I mean, they have really decided, I'm going to do this, and they have to be dedicated, and they have to be a little courageous because they're getting out of their comfort zone. Mm -hmm. So it's, they're very impressive individuals. But very. you do provide them with the education, the skills, I think the contacts. Now, do they get paid in this? Yes, uh, they do. do they? 
during the time that they're out in the community doing the recycling, the environmental work, the gardens and such, they're paid the San Francisco minimum wage. And for many of them, but for the core, they wouldn't be mm. earning a wage. And so it's really a beginning. It's a first step for them to figure out how to be part of the world of work. And for those of us uh, who are watching this, what, what can our viewers do to help the San Francisco con Conservation Corps? I mean, you can actually hire. You can These hire us to do work. We work in the Corps members work in crews. You can hire us to do the work. You can actually contact us to become an employer. We help the young people go on to employment and provide them with support for one year after they've left the program. You can also come to our website and provide donations. We always need discretionary dollars because our young people have a lot of needs. And um, so you can also come to the website and volunteer. That sounds great. When's your next graduating class? The next graduating class will be in September. And the reason we do that is our young people take exams throughout the okay. school year. And that's when we get the results. That's wonderful. Well, what a wonderful organization. Ann Cochran and Bob Molyneux with the San Francisco Conservation Corps. So nice to have you on the program and for telling us about the vital work that the uh, uh, group is doing. Thank Thanks you very for much. Having us. Thank you, Pat. And if you'd like more information on the organization, you can log on to the website, SFC. CC.org. When we return, we're honoring Asian American women artists staging a multimedia art exhibit, how they're finding a place of their own.